Um, I would say that it's always nice to see yourself represented, um, whether it be you know male, female. Uh, as African American man, it's nice to see you know African American characters um, so prominent today's in comics today. Um, back in the '90s, some of the characters I enjoyed were Night Thrasher from the New Warriors, just because he was uh, you know a young, young, strong black man who you know led a team of individuals to you know, make a change. He was very disciplined uh, and I admired that, you know, as a young man, just wanted to see that discipline. And um, now I would say, uh, oh, and also Static, Static was cool too. Static was nice, I can relate to him. Um, now it's so many, I mean, this, you got Batwing and, you know, Nick Fury, he, you know, it's a black version of that. Even I don't think race Spider-Man. really matters in comic books because there's green people and blue people, so it doesn't really matter. As far as, uh, black characters in comics, I would have to say it's a coin toss between uh, Luke Cage and probably the Black Panther. But growing up, I never um, had any favorites. I've had favorite characters and I never thought of it as black or white. Just good guys and bad guys. But those are probably my two favorite black characters. I think it's a cop-out that they made um, Nick Fury black by default in comics. Um, it's a little silly to me. He's not a bad character, but he doesn't have to be black. It's Valentine's Day. I have a crush on that girl. So, Phil, who's oh. your Valentine's Day crush? What's that? Who's your Valentine's Day crush? Crush? For comic books. I'm going to have to say Barbara Gordon. Pre-wheelchair Barbara Gordon. Okay, fine. My comic crush has always been Dazzler. Something about comic book crush. You do. Like 300. Yeah, you do. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like, what do you mean? <laughs> well, have you ever looked at a at a drawn lady <laughs> and thought that if I met her in person, <laughs> that I would probably ask her to date me? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. But God, I, it's been so long. I don't know. Go on. Uh, it's probably always Barbara yeah. Gordon. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Any particular reason? The one, she was super smart. Okay. And, and she's a redhead. Okay. That's a killer combination. That is. That's good yeah. to know. All right. So, will that do? Yeah, yeah that'll do. <laughs> so who's your crush? Clint Barton, Hawkeye from the Avengers and every other Avengers related thing. My favorite comic book uh, crush. Uh, depends on the artist, really. But uh, I think uh, Scarlet Witch and Spider Woman are pretty, pretty hot. <laughs> um, but anybody drawn by Frank Cho or uh, I guess Jim Lee. Yeah. yeah, okay. So what? So my answer would be Andrea from Walking Dead. And so uh, if I had to pick my uh, crush, I'd stick with Wonder Woman. She's been my crush from the beginning. Um, she's a freaking Amazon princess. What more can you ask for? Uh, as far as crushes, uh, I always had a crush on Psylocke, but I will say that Misty Knight's looking kind of nice. So that's about it. You know, I, I think that, um, you know, it's definitely come a long way. You know? All right. So, um, that's my take. My comic book crush is uh, Captain Marvel. Female Captain Marvel, because I have a weakness for blondes. Not Marvel. No you know Marvel. for Cree. <laughs> that that weakness for Cree. Not I heard that you did, Dave. Male Cree, right? Yeah. I know okay. him. All the way. All right. A comfortable crush. Hmm. Probably Batgirl. Yeah. Everybody likes Barbara Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> My answer to both questions is Amanda Waller, <laughs> and I think you know why.